Hello guys, and welcome back to Louis Nature Trails. For this week's adventure, I thought it'd be a really fun idea to show you around my farm. But this isn't just any type of farm. Oh no, no. This is a fish farm. And what that means is, all of these ponds here are absolutely full of fish. Isn't that amazing? I think that's really cool, and I live here. But if you are walking next to water, please, please make sure to be really careful. Make sure to have a, a responsible adult with you. And I try not to, to, to run too close to the water because you don't want to slip in and fall. Because you'll get really wet and you could get hurt. So, I hope you really enjoy this, this tour. Have a great time, have loads of fun, and yeah, see you soon. So this is where the farm gets all of its water. This is the River Dun and it flows all the way over there, down here, under there, through here, and then into the farm, into those wee channels there and there. It goes right into, right into the farm and then it leaves the farm and goes back into the river. On our farm we have three types of fish. We have brown trout, which is kept in here, in there, and that one over there, and then the further one over there, the furthest one over there. We also have rainbows, which are kept in there and in there, and we have blueies, or blues, which are kept in there as well. So, these fish are really, really hungry. So I'm gonna feed them with this food here. Now this food is called floating food. And the reason it's called that is because when you chuck it into the pond, it floats on the surface. And that makes it easier for the fish to get the food. So this food is packed full of protein and it means that they grow up big and strong. So here you go. Look at all those fish, there's tons of them in there. They love this food. There's so many. And now I'm going to feed the rainbows. These fish also love this food. Yum, 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 yum. They're saying. Yum, 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 yum. So, do you want to see some trout? Here are some brown trout. I'm just going to take this wee pipe out. These are brown trout. They're really... Oh, big splashes, big splashes. Oh, I'm soaked. Absolutely soaked. Very, very wet. We also have lots and lots of animals that love to eat our fish. They think they're really, really yummy. So we have herons, and we also have seagulls, and we have osprey, and cormorants, and we also have an otter family that come every so often and they love, they love our fish. Yum yum yum. Guys, look what I've just spotted. See how I was talking to you about cormorants and how they love to eat our fish? Well one's just popped up right here. And the thing is, if I get too close, he's gonna dive right back into the pond. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try and get closer to him see what he does. He's a big bird, a big black bird, and normally you find him by the coast. But sometimes they come inland 
enter the countryside and find ponds like mine. And what he's going to do is, he's going to try and dive into the water to try and get away from me. Look, he's just done it. Now I'm going to wait for him to pop up and they can dive for several minutes if they wanted to. But this one's just popped up right back there. And he, and he went back, back down. Where is he going to pop up now? Oh, he's there! Well, he's not really doing too much harm, so I'll just leave him. Um, all he wants is a fish, and I can't really blame him because our fish are lovely. So, everyone say bye bye, Cormorant. Bye bye! So, I think I can read your mind. You're thinking, Louis, how on earth do you get the fish out of the ponds once they go in them? Well, that's a very good question. When we get an order from a fishery for, let's say, a hundred fish, we would drag this big net here over the pond and then bring them in to here. We'd then use hand nets like this one here and net the fish from that net there, weigh them, and then put them into these nets like this. That one would, would go back into there. So we would hold them in, in here until we moved them in a truck that has a tank on the back and then we transport them all over Scotland. And I think you're also wondering, Louis, how many fish do you have on the farm? Well, to give you an example, I moved 10,000 small fish from there into there. 10,000? Yep, 10,000. But overall, the whole farm, we have around about 30,000 fish. Can you imagine 30,000 fish in your front room? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It really is a lot. But yeah, so yeah, that's what the farm does. We sell all over Scotland. We sell to fisheries and we sell to locks um, and private owners and yeah, just anyone really that wants some, some trout. Um, but yeah. On our farm, we also have lots and lots of ducks. This white one is a muscovy. It's called Penelope, which is very lovely. That one is a Khaki Campbell, and he is called Stanley. We have lots of mallards over there, so they are, they are grown-up ducklings. Some over there as well, and we have some over there, some over there. That's a male, that's a female. Yeah, they just love the farm because there's so much water and so much space for them to swim, and get food, fly about, yeah, it's just a really, really good place for them. I really enjoyed making that wee video for you. I hope you really enjoyed it too. If you did, I hope you join us on our next adventure. But could you do me a favour, just like I said before, if you're ever around water like I am here, make sure to have your parents' permission, and yeah, just be really really careful. Okay, well, enjoy the weather. It's really nice outside. And yeah, have an amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye.